Hi, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, we do cover all the Disguise RPG content on this channel, so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. We are going to be covering everything that comes out, you know, in terms of news, banners, summons, uh, should you summons, guides, and all that when the game actually drops. We're pretty much a couple days out from the game actually dropping, and I'm just trying to get some more content onto the channel uh, before the game actually drops. So I know some people might actually have that question of, should you actually play this game? Can this game become the next big, you know, gotcha game or anything in general? Um, I think yes. Uh, I'm just going to be outright with you. The Disgaea franchise has many color colorful characters. It has a great storyline. This game is going to have its own storyline, by the way, um, separate from the main series. So that's kind of like already like exciting to me. I mean, like its own story. It's always going to be fun, especially with like the huge, vast amount of characters that we currently have. It's very good. Right, you know, and we could just go over the story real quick. The netherworld deeper than the deepest ocean and darker than the darkest cave. It is a chaotic world uh, ruled by demons, monsters, and overlords. No one knows quite where to find it, but it is known to everyone. They yearn for it deep, the dark recesses of their fear and anxieties. So, um, you know, it's it's going to be a pretty cool story. The gameplay is basically it's a turn-based style game. Um, there's team building on it. You could use like a thing. I think it's about five characters on the same team, uh, which is pretty cool. So, like, it definitely goes into that. You have a bunch of different, you know, unique characters. Like, these are all just kind of, like, you know, from, like, the main, like, the, like, the most popular ones right now, right, for the most part. So, I know a lot of people might not really know who these characters are, but that is fine. This game definitely works for newcomers, uh, for sure. Um, I would definitely say that this game is very fun. I, I, have, played, I have played the Japanese version uh, quite often. Sorry if I forgot about... Uh, I haven't played in a while. Uh, it's been a couple months because after uh, I played it for a little bit, decided to kind of just hold off until the global version because honestly, I couldn't read it. And unfortunately, uh, if you can't read what you're playing, it turns into a uh, turns into a very hectic uh, situation. But for the most part, the game is it's you know it's beautiful. Uh, you know, you have all the protagonists in the game uniting. It's going to be real cool situations like that. You know, you have a lot of different character development. You have defeat enemies here. Yeah, you have your five-man squad, which is real cool. Um, over here, you have build your own team, uh, which is real nice. I think, like, you could build a very, very solid team. Uh, and basically, I think how it works is, like, you have five characters and, like, a, a support in the end there. So, definitely very cool stuff with that. The team building aspect is very nice. Uh, you have intense action. You know, you have very intense action. The gameplay is fun. You can obviously do crazy total damage. You have Awakened Kilia. You have just a lot of different units. I have another video on the channel going over all the playable characters. So, you guys could definitely check that out. If you guys haven't checked it out already. Um, Freelance. Frinnies self-destruct to fight. Yes, they do. That is very uh, a Disgaea fran. You know, basically every time you throw a a, pr a Prinny, you know, it's uh, they blow up. <laughs> if you guys didn't know that, but yeah, that's basically what goes down. Over here, we have exclusive game modes. We have like Overlord's Tower, um, and you know, yeah, I think there's a lot of different game modes. Actually, I have to like jump back into it and kind of look at it, but. And this game definitely could become the next big thing for sure. Uh, I, I'm pretty psyched on it. So I made a whole channel based around it because, again, I feel like it could definitely... Sorry. Oh, I just ate. Um, I feel like it could definitely become something, vi like something very big. And you have a bunch of cool illustrations on the website. Uh, you do have the video from the actual trailer if you guys want to see the actual trailer here real quick. Um, we'll, we could just take that off. The trailer is real good. Like this is like the like the animation style. The animation, the drawings are very top tier in my opinion. I do think the animations and the art are very very good in this game. So I definitely would suggest. Like it, I think it's definitely worth a pickup, just based on like the, the gameplay. The rates are about three percent. The rates aren't the highest, but it's fine. They give out a lot of free currency. Uh, I gotta see how the shop is. Obviously, once the game actually drops, I'll do. Like, once the game actually drops, I'm gonna have like a million different videos going over the actual, you know, content of the game, kind of stuff like that, right? That's basically what's how it's gonna work. Uh, did more, you know, probably two or three videos every day uh, for the first week, and kind of just talking about different things and all the different like aspects of the actual game and stuff like that that we could look at, and then like obviously here. You know the, the the art is just beautiful the, them just showing the, all the all the you know cool characters you know you got mal laharl um and they have the whole cast like you know you got axel bro axel being in the game is real cool valvet torres uh flown they have a demon version of flown angel version of flown there's beach uh outfits there's a whole 
mesk of different things that they have going on with this game. So I definitely think that this game is definitely going to be worth it. I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of fun with this game. You know, I, I from my time playing it, I feel like it's definitely going to be a good time. Unfortunately, there has been some downside to the game. And I do understand that. I have heard some, you know, unfortunate stories, with, especially with the JP version. But uh, for the most part, a lot of people do like it. It is fun. Uh, they do like the auto system is very good on it. So I would definitely go ahead and just pre-register, bro. It's definitely not going to be, you know, not a bad thing for you to go ahead and pre-register. I feel like it could be very fun. Um, you know, there's a lot of team building, a lot of great characters, a lot of collaborations. They collab with Seven Deadly Sins. Zero, uh, and I think there's even more collabs planned for the future, so we could potentially see some big more times collabs I mean this guy RPG, so I feel like this game could definitely become something uh, Big right I feel like this game could definitely become something big. I see the potential So I would want any person who's been like on the fence of it uh, Who has not you know played the games or they're worried about the games like you know to go ahead and give it a shot It's not gonna be that bad promise a good the story is very good um you know it's just going to be an all around a very good time so i would 100 percent recommend anybody who plays it and that's basically my little mini review uh it's a great game great story fun characters and it's a good gotcha game so make sure to you know pre-register give these guys all the support that they need and i will be covering all the disco rpg news and information on the channel so i'll see you guys for the next one take care and i'll see you guys later bye